Are you lying awake at night staring up at your ceiling because you're now in contract with a home buyer or seller and you want the deal to close so you can relax? Well, unfortunately, clients back out of deals all the time. But in this video, we're gonna help you and give you three tips to avoid canceled contracts and start getting some peace of mind. Hey everyone, Matthew Bizarro with Be Great in Real Estate. And today, we're gonna show you how to avoid canceled contracts and how to get more deals closed so that you and your team can start to elevate your businesses. The number one tip is to ensure the buyer fully examines the property. Go back for a second showing if possible. Give them peace of mind and let them see the home again. Show them everything and do this before the contract is signed. And you're helping solidify the choice for your client if they're on the fence. There will be no cold feet because they got a good look. Tip number two, do a financial analysis of your clients. Too often, a first time home buyer is looking at homes that are above their limits. In a market like the one we have right now, it's essential to make sure your client can afford to bid. Make sure they have some extra cash to make a good solid offer for a home and avoid it being taken away from them at the last minute. So get that financial analysis and see what they can afford. Check out their post-closing liquidity and only look for places that give them some room to bid. If you don't, your client may get locked into a home that they may not be able to afford and that would make anybody want to cancel a contract. Finally, the number three reason is set limits for your clients to avoid getting cold feet and feeling the pressure at the end of the day. You and your clients need to know when to walk away to find the home meant for them. Your clients can purchase a home that feels like a dream, but then come to find out the monthly payments are too much and they're tight on cash every month. Don't let your clients get stuck in a home they can't afford. Stick to about a third of their monthly income for a mortgage. If the home is too expensive, it's okay to walk away. That means the right home for your clients is just around the corner. With limits in place, your client will be confident that they're not going over budget and there are no second thoughts on the contract. So there you have it. Those are just three tips to avoid last minute cancellations and to help you start closing more deals. If you think we missed a good tip, let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, please subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube.